Hi, third, fourth, and fifth graders, leaders. We are preparing for February 14th in our series called The Main Thing. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for loving kids and showing up to love on us today. Um, your lesson today is on Jesus' tough teachings. And let me tell you why this is a tough teaching. Our tough teaching is from John chapter 6, where Jesus calls himself the bread of life. And we see this as a tough teaching because this teaching, what happened when Jesus taught this, some people turned away and decided not to continue to follow Jesus. And we have seen, I have seen that many times with people and once they understand a little bit more about what they, what they are, um, what is going on around them or who Jesus is or things get tough, then it is most people's inclination to turn around. But what Jesus wanted people to understand is that there are gonna be tough times. There may be times where your belly is hungry and you, are, you do not have your physical needs met. That does not mean that your heavenly father has left you or forgotten you though. That in those times, we can turn to God as well. And that we can have Jesus as our savior. If we are a believer, always, there's not anything that we can do that can separate us from that, um, what Jesus did for us. And that we always will have eternal life once we believe. And so, um, should be a fun discussion today. I'm excited to hear how it goes in your groups. Um, your activity's a little heavy, so you're gonna wanna play your game today because um, um, you need some time to build relationships with kids and have them laughing and have them trusting you so that you can talk about the things that are coming up. The game's called Smack It. It's similar to Spoons or um, Slapjack. Look at the instructions in your leader guide to figure out how to play it, or you can look it up on YouTube. There is a video out there that shows you how to play that game. Um, and then your small group activity, don't laugh at my artwork. You have a um, marker board, and it's going to be blank when you get it. I already drew my person. I kind of made it look like a bear. Can't you tell it looks like a bear? And then you also have a bag of... Um, dry erase markers and a fuzz ball that is your eraser. And this activity is a great way to, to tell the gospel, to, to talk through the gospel with your kiddos. And if you have somebody at work, this would, if you, especially if you're a really good artist, um, this is a great way for you to share with them what Jesus has done for us. So what you're going to do first is you're going to look at Genesis 3. And in Genesis 3, we see that sin enters the world through Adam and Eve, eating the fruit in the garden. And once they ate their fruit, the fruit, their eyes were opened and they saw that they were naked and they began to hide from God. And so we see um, disobedience and we see selfishness and we see lying and we see hating and stealing and jealousy begin to be the things that describe Adam and Eve, which are all sins. And so as you begin um, to talk about your picture, tell them that this picture is a picture, is a representation of Adam. And through Adam, these sins get added to um, to Adam, and he begins to wear these sins, which means he needs a way to um, to get away from these sins. And so we look at Romans five, and Romans five points as to the grace God gave us through his son Jesus to, um, to not be seen as these things anymore. Once we believe in Jesus, um, Jesus covers, um, co G God sees us through the lens of Jesus. He doesn't see our sins anymore. And so use your eraser to um, wipe your sins out and when you believe that Jesus is your savior, 
God doesn't see this stuff anymore and he doesn't continue to judge us for those things. And, and then you can go into some of your discussion questions and, and ask the kids if there's somebody in their life that they feel like is having a hard time believing um, in Jesus and um, accepting these things. Because maybe they need someone to explain it to them the way that you guys are explaining it in small group to, together today. I was so excited when I found this activity because I think it's a great way to share the gospel with someone, to share with them what what our relationship, what our um, belief in Jesus does for us and how good that is, that God doesn't see us through that lens anymore. All right. Um, and so I've cleaned up our marker board. We can put it away now. Your... Um, Key passage activity. You, um, if, I don't know if you've led yet or not, um, but your key passage activity. All of these activities are to help the kids understand that we use the Bible as a way to know who God is and what He directs for us in our life. And so we can use this passage just like we use Romans and Genesis to help us understand who God is. And we can do that. Um, through this just simple activity that we're doing. You have a bean bag, and the kids are going to pass the bean bag when you say one of the key words that are highlighted in your leader guide. Also use your leader guide to help them understand what those words that are highlighted mean so that, again, so they have the chance to share that with someone else. What we want for kids to understand is that once we believe it is every person's job who is a believer to tell other people about Jesus. And we can work that out together in small groups so that we have the chance to share with that big truth with people who are not a part of our small groups. You have coloring pages, and I encourage you to pray with your kiddos, especially pray if, if some names came up. Um, for ways that they want to share the gospel with other people in their lives. Thank you so much for leading. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.